story is not for the squeamish, okay? You've been warned. Dr. Kenny Bond told InsideEdition.com about a patient who pulled, get this, a five-foot-long tapeworm out of his gut. Here's how it went down. I see this young gentleman. He's a 30-year-old Asian gentleman, and he comes in. I said, what brings you in here today? And he says, I want to get treated for worms. And I said, okay, well, just, you know, tell me why you want to get treated for worms. And he said, well, you know, I was having some abdominal cramping, and I was having some diarrhea, and I went to the bathroom, and I had some bloody diarrhea. And so, you know, I was a little concerned, but then after I had a bout of bloody diarrhea, I uh, saw a little piece of what I thought was my intestine hanging out. And I said, out your bottom? And he, and he said, yeah. Go on, doctor. So I said, what did you do? I, uh, I, so I reached down and I grabbed it and I started to just pull it out to see if it's a little piece or a big piece. But a big, long string kind of came out and he pulls it out from his bottom and it keeps coming and coming. And he's like, oh my goodness. And he thinks he's got this really long piece of bowel that's like just basically falling off of him. Like pieces are just falling out of him. But then when he pulls it out, it starts wriggling in his hand. It starts moving. He's like, oh my God. Then he knew it was a worm and he just like sort of dropped it like on the, on the bathroom floor, but still coming out of him. It gets better. He doesn't know what to do with it. He takes a toilet paper roll and he takes the end of the worm and rolls it around and pulls it out and just keeps pulling and pulling. It just keeps coming and coming until finally.